So I want to talk a little bit about a patch that I accidentally came upon uh, using these two modules, the Orbit 3 and the Filter 8 from Dranalog. Um, it basically uh, is creating what you can probably hear in the background that sounds like birds. Uh, that's what it's that's what it's creating. So I want to talk about how I think it's working. Um, the Orbit 3 really quickly is a uh, it, it's called a double scroll chaos oscillator, which is really just an implementation of a Lawrence attractor, which is really just following the x, y, and z coordinates around to, as it's as a as an object or an item or particle is orbiting two different. Um, attractors so it'll switch between being it'll it'll go around it'll orbit one attractor and then randomly it'll switch uh, and start orbiting the other one um, there's a number of different implementations of this there's one called Lawrence um, on the ornament and crime there's the sloths from uh, nonlinear uh, circuits and um, both of which I've used, and now I have the Orbit 3, so I'm obviously a fan of these Lawrence Attractor implementations. Um, and so the Orbit 3 is doing that, and then the filter rate's a filter and uh, actually a self-oscillating filter as well, and we're using the, um, the self-oscillating aspect of the filter rate. That's what's making the sound. So um, what's happening here is the, the Orbit 3 is in low mode, which means it's not doing audio rates. It's doing just a, a faster uh, um, oscillation. Uh, low frequency oscillation and we're using just one tap off of that of six different taps there's a positive x y and z and a, neg and a, a negative x y and z um, they all kind of do the same thing they're just all out of phase and i'm just using one of those and it looks like that green trace there normally when you see a lawrence attractor you'll see it go circular doing orbits but rather than patching the x y uh, both the x y into the data and um, and then tracking both i just thought i would just show this one but the green is the is the waveform that's coming off of the it's one of the the coordinates of the lawrence attractor and so that's um we'll talk about what that's that's modulating the the exponential fm going into the filter eight this 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 blue one over here um and so what the way this is working we also have a tap off of the equilibrium points and this is a gate and i believe it's uh high and low when it switches between the two uh, things it's orbiting. So you can see here, this is the yellow trace, and you can see it's just going basically high and low, and when it goes high, uh, I believe that's when it's uh, switching to one or the other thing it's orbiting, but that's basically what that's patched into the resonance of the filter eight. So what's happening is as this goes high, um, it's it's putting the filter eight into self-oscillating mode because it's pushing the resonance up into uh, its self-oscillation, which is that little tick you can see here. Um, and so it, that's why the bird sounds aren't constant. They're kind of turning on and off, and that's this equilibrium points doing that. Uh, I'm also sending it a frequency. That's actually coming from the sloths, which is also a Lawrence attractor. It's on the kind of faster one, and then I'm pushing that through a um an a an a times b plus c just so that i can attenuate it just so that it's only working a little bit and I, I can pull the frequency and it just doesn't sound as good so just that little bit of fluctuation in the frequency really um, makes it makes it sound a little bit more realistic so those are the only three things that we're using the orbit three for um, these are the two taps coming off of the filter eight and those are just going into a mixer um, and then they're getting they're actually getting summed uh, into a single uh, into a single output. Um, and actually one's turned down. I can turn. They, they kind of are different levels, but it's no big deal. Um, and so that's that's what's happening. So we're using the gate coming off of the of the equilibrium points to push the filter rate into self-oscillating mode and then using that that waveform from the Lawrence attractor. Uh, that chaos oscillator, and then using that to exponent the exponential FM on the filter eight, and that's what it sounds like. And I am putting it through just a little bit of the reverb on the Pico DSP. Um, oh, and uh, going back to the waveforms, the red line is the frequency, and so you can see that it's just barely kind of moving up into the two volt range, um, and then and then kind of coming down. So it's not really doing not really doing a whole lot. Um, so let's uh, let's hear what it sounds like a little bit. I'll just uh, turn up the volume on it a little bit from the mixer. 
and I'll get it just a touch of a touch more reverb. <laughs> 